Uh, Merry Christmas, Fraser. And happy Christmas to you too, Mark. Now we thought we could celebrate Christmas a little early here at GTN, so here is a little stocking for you, Fraser. Well, luckily I was on the same page, but there's your present too, so now we're ready to get going. Oh, thank you, Fraser. Well, Christmas literally has come early at GTN, but we thought this provides a lovely opportunity for us to give you some gift ideas for the triathlete in your life. All right, Fraser, I think you should go first. I've got a rather large one that I couldn't fit in oh, your stocking. Oh, Mark, for go. me. Thanks so much, Ryan. Gonna get going here. It's a dry robe. Thanks, Mark. I've never had one of these. Brilliant. Yeah, they, these are brilliant, actually. So you can use these when you're swimming, before or after. Pop them on, get changed underneath it. Conveniently, as well, they're made with a synthetic lamb's wool lining. And they, have, and they have a waterproof and windproof outer shell, so you're gonna be pretty toasty underneath that thing. Even in Scotland? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mark. Right, now, next up, we've got something for you here. Oh, nice one, thanks, mate. Oh, this is great. Oh. oh, a Velo sock. Yeah, now, these are pretty new in the market this year. I hadn't really heard of them till this summer, and you've seen the likes of Lucy Charles and Jan Frodeno using these uh, things. Hang on, hang on. GTN. It's good, isn't Custom it? Custom branding. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, very cool. Um, now, the idea of these is that if you're storing your bike inside, like a lot of us do, then it's really good for keeping your oily chain or muddy tires away from your furniture, or keeping your furniture away from your oily chain and your muddy tires. <laughs> but either way, it's a really good tool for keeping things clean inside. Or you can use it for transporting your bike. Like if you're putting it on the back of the bike rack, it can keep it all nice and clean from muddy spray off the roads and things. So. Yeah, really nice uh, little thing there. Hope yeah, like packs it packs down really well as well, doesn't it? That's really cool. Uh, I think you should go next now, Fraser. Okay, what have we got in here? But it's, it's a... It's a Polar Vantage V, yeah. Oh, you, you, you think, but wait, did, did I not have this charging bike? I, I did, this is my watch yeah, mark. Look, look, come on. Be grateful, it is the thought that counts. Yeah. It, this is a premium multi-sport GPS watch. Now these, wow, they pack a punch. They've got all sorts of features. We've got... Um, fully aware, I know. Yeah, yeah, we've got time, distance, speed, pace, heart rate, optical heart rate built into it, running power even built into it. We've got recovery data, sleep data, swimming metrics. It goes on, as you can imagine, and there, well, there's a reason why so many of the pros wear these watches. No, thank you very much for my watch back, Mark. But um, on to you, I've got a big present here, down here. Oh, oh wow. I've got some noise in as well. Whoa. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is... Ah, oh, it's the Park Tool Advanced Mechanic Toolkit. Now, it sure is. Now, there's an awful lot of good stuff in there. Oh, right? yeah, so but I've got a lot of stuff. A cyclone chain scrubber, we've mm -hmm. got Torx oh, keys, oh. we've got... Oh, that's for checking the length of your chain. We've got tape measures. A uh, boss load, pretty handy for this time of the year. Yeah, they do do pizza um, cutters as well. It is, this goes on. This is. This really does pack a punch as well. It, check this one out. Who doesn't need that in their life? Uh, That's a pretty sizable bit of kit there. Now, it is an awful lot of stuff that Mark's got in here. Now, this might not be for everybody unless you want to be a full-on mechanic. So, Park Tool do offer their Essential Toolkit as well, which is a slimmed down version of everything Mark's got there, but hopefully enough to get you out of trouble in most cases. So it's got things like tire levers in there, it's got Allen keys, fold-up uh, wrench, hex keys as well. There's also some patches if you need to repair some punctures. So, as I said, hopefully enough to get you out of trouble, and that's the Essential Kit. From the park tool. Brilliant. Well, you've got another problem. I hoped you were going to say that, Mark. Right, so I'm going to get going in here. Feels like a book. Feels like a book. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the plant based cyclist. Now, this has actually been written Thanks, with. Mark. Yeah, it's been written with Nigel Mitchell, who is a leading sports nutritionist who's worked with the likes of British Cycling, Team Sky, Education First. Um, and he has basically started trialing and working on. Basically, a plant-based nutrition and diet. That's good. Yeah, and he was really interested to see whether you could actually perform at an elite level in cycling whilst being on these diets. And the answer was yes. Since that, he started working with GCN. After a few videos later, they presented us with this: the plant-based cyclist. Now, as it says on the front your complete guide to plant-powered cycling. It's actually really quite good, even for someone who's not fully plant-based. I've actually learned quite a lot from this. Yeah, I'm looking for, because I'm not plant-based by any stretch at all, so maybe that's the thing for me. Thanks, Mark. No worries. I've actually also got a rather book-like looking shape here, so. 
Ah, Leslie Patterson's book, The Brave Athlete, Calm the... What's that say for you? Yeah, you know it. Down it's and bad. rise to the occasion. Now, don't take the title too personally, Mark, but I do think you're going to enjoy this. Leslie's a really good friend of mine, grew up racing with her when I was younger, and she and her husband, Dr. Simon Marshall, who's a sports psychology expert, have created this book. It was a couple years ago they put it all together, and really it's just this great amalgamation of clinical science and real world experiences, I suppose, from Leslie, who is a three-time Xterra World Champion athlete herself. So, a lot of good stuff in there. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for that. Well, I believe you've got another oh, present. we've got another one. Yeah, getting on for this now, aren't we? Whoa, where's the... Can you do it? I think you got to like this one. Oh, that was that wrap, <laughs> Ah, form swim goggles. Yeah, see, I know how much you liked mine. In fact, you used them a little bit too much. I thought I'd get you your own. Um, but yeah, these are fantastic. Um, if you're not already aware of what they are, they're augmented reality display goggles. And by that, what I mean, you can see from this little image on the front here, it will show you your swim metrics within your goggle without blocking your field of vision or the view. And also, with the Polo H1, which you just threw on the floor, you can now get heart rate within the goggles as well. So, pretty fancy stuff. It's really kind of, well, I guess we've had this sort of stuff in cycling and running. Why not in swimming? It's taking swimming to the next level. Thanks very much, Mark. You know I like to get in the pool. Right, I've got one more here for you here, Mark, so you can get stuck into that one. Some neoprene shorts. Exactly. Now, don't take it too personally, Mark. I know that okay. you're. A, I know you're a good <laughs> swimmer. You can do up. But these are really useful tools for replicating having a pool boy in your legs or of having a wetsuit, but without the hassle of having a pool boy or a wetsuit. So they're a really good trade-off. It's good for people who want to focus on fixing their technique if they have quite sinky legs, or if you want to think about having a nice, easy swim when you're tired after having done a big biker run. So just give you a little bit of a break. Think well, you're I know them. Josh Amber uses these and he let out Kona. If, there so you go, if exactly. they're good enough for him, I'll have those. You've got another one, Fraser. <gasps> More in here, brilliant, right, what have we got? Oh, nice little one here. I've also wrapped, wrapped this, wrapped yeah. Really I like my sellotape. <laughs> oh, getting it. It is. Swift Run Pod. A Swift Run Pod, yeah. yeah. So, um, we're doing loads of indoor running at the moment in the, yep. on the treadmill. It's not great here in the UK, the weather outside. Um, so yeah, this Zwift Run Pod, it's not only gonna allow you to get onto Zwift, but also actually just useful for indoor training because you can connect this to your run watch. The idea being that these pods, they've got accelerometers in them so it can track your foot movement and therefore how fast you're going. So actually you can record quite accurately how hard you've been running on the treadmill. Or take it to the next level, connect it to Zwift, get stuck into that virtual world, have a load of fun running with other people all over the world. We can even have some races as well. Oh, you're a bit too quick for me, Mark. But yeah, it's a good idea. I'm a bit of a data geek, so thanks for that. I like that. Right, go on, into your next one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. I think you're going to like it. Ha-ha! Some sporks. Yes, runs. now, I thought this was appropriate for you, Mark, because I know how much you love bikes. That's why we both love bike talks. In fact, between the two of us, I think we've got it's a bit of a guilty pleasure. Far too many sets of running and biking socks, but I thought you'd like them. They are awesome. I mean, mate, you can't go wrong with running socks, no, can you? Exactly. Any new socks to run in is fantastic, but to go festive as well, even better. Yeah, and if you guys like another option, then actually Sporks have got these ones here, which is a very cool Lucy Charles Barkley edition set. So she's got her own little graphics in there. I'll have a quick look. There's some, um, oh, rub. Oh, well, there we go. Ah, the mermaid ones. Yeah, these have been really popular. Very cool. Well, mate, we're on to our last couple here, so another one. <sighs> Thank you very much, Mark. Aha! Ah, thanks, Mark. I thought you'd like these. These are the Continental Grand Prix Four Season Tie. I've actually popped a very set of these on my own bike just recently in a 28 month. I thought I noticed, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, just because the roads around here in the UK are so wet, greasy, muddy, leafy at this time of the year. It's just nice having a little bit more confidence and a little more puncture resistance. So. Look forward to getting some miles in on those. Thank you very much. Now, last one. Get it's after it. it. Yeah. All right, it's a little one. Mm -hmm. I wrapped that a bit too tightly. Ah, the Koo Billy. Yeah, now there. this is a great little idea. Whack that on your top tube or your stem or even your handlebars, and then you can just pop your sunglasses on there so that you can just get them out of the way if you don't need them when you're riding along. Or another good alternative when you're racing 
stick that there, have your glasses on them, hit T1, get out onto the bike, and then you can put them on without having to rush it. So, it's a good little time-saving method, isn't I it? I think yeah, you'll like handy. those for your yeah, next that's, that's, a, that's a good little stockings filler, that one. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed this today. It's certainly been great fun for us. Yeah, it has been. Now, of course, if you guys have got some really good Christmas triathlon gift ideas, please let us know. We'd love to know. So drop those down there in the comments section below. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. So please hit that thumb up like button. Find the globe on screen to make sure you get all the other videos that we've done here at GTN. And if you want to see a video I did recently about your first triathlon bike, well, you can find that here. Yeah, and if you'd like to find out how to use a swimming pool pace clock, that thing that just spins around on the side that a lot of people don't seem to know how to use, okay. then you can see our video by clicking just down here.